Welcome to Best Car Fixes. This is Muhammad Harun Idris. Please subscribe, share, and like. Uh, the second video we have it today is about the Land Rover LR2 or LR3, I believe. LR2. And the problem was the cooling fan is not coming on. Uh, we checked the car. We have a code for cooling fan circuit. If you can check the previous video. And uh, after we look at the data, we found that there is no signal. The cooling fan module, it have a module next to the radiator. It had three wires, power, ground, and computer signal. This uh, signal is modulated signal. that like going on, off, or to negative or positive. It sends signal whenever there is a request from the engine company, I mean the cooling system, the cooling fan system, which is a cooling sensor will send signal to the engine computer. Let's see the car here. Which the cooling temperature sensor, which is around here somewhere from the engine, it will sense the, the heat or the temperature of the car. And if it look like it is a time to activate the fan to cooling the antifreeze that is coming from the engine to the radiator to get cooled and go back if you need more air especially when the car is parked because some car when you are driving the air comes through the the, the grill here and cool down and automatically the fan will not work in certain speed because the amount of the air that the fan gives to the engine is already come through the grill to the engine to be cooled down and cool the radiator okay but if you stand still and the temperature rise, the cooling temperature sensor will send signal to the engine computer, which is located here in this area, which is this one here, and it will send signal through this wire, which is a purple, all the way down is coming here, and it will come to this place here. This is a connector, where it is connected to the module. The module, one side is connected to the module, and the fan motor, which is if you notice it here, it's there. You see that? The, you see? On this side here, you see here? This side here. Oh, where is it? This side here, they, they put some plug. This side here is connected to the to the, to the the module. And it will calculate the, the, the signal and send power and ground based on the request from the computer. The computer say, look, I need a fan to be in a high speed. It will, it will send uh, signals that is going to high speed if we want to reduce it will reduce now um, they went they changed the cooling fan they changed the modulator it still the car doesn't want to work they brought the car here hold on this those pins fell out while i put it there sorry about that if you are electrician and you want to work on car or a car technician you may need to have those kind of uh, pigtails and pins to put them in, a, in the requirement when you start testing your car. So please put in consideration when you, instead of, you have to have those places where sometimes it's not easy to reach to have them with you. And they work fine. Okay. The customer change, uh, the fan, and even he brought a, uh, hold on, let me get that one. Uh, the customer brought a fan and he even brought one module. This module here is a dual output, like this is uh, the place where the connector go in and you can either put it in one fan or two fan, it depends. But it still doesn't work. So I say, you know what, we need to diagnose this car. But when I check, when I put just a regular test the light here, i supposed to get something. Even if it's not the right diagnostic tool, but you're supposed to have any kind of signal. When you check it, there is nothing here. So we say, you know what? Two things in this. Either the wire broke or the engine computer went bad. This engine computer. And the engine computer, when you get it, you need a programming, resetting, and all this stuff. But I don't want to open the whole car like this and start working on it and oh engine computer is bad 
leave the car here we ain't going to it or leave it out and it no i checked the computer i found the computer online is very it's not expensive like about 75 dollar this computer i said you know what let me get the computer put it here next to me i will open everything just getting the computer need almost a week for example and do the right research now we open the cover that is here which is uh, like a wiper cover the grill and we found the computer here before we do anything before you do anything you need to have kind of wiring diagram to support yourself with do not try just to start working assuming i already open it and check the the wire but this one here this connector here i'm gonna push this one down and push it up this is a connector where it has a cooling fan and it's not you're coming here and you look at the numbers if you look at the wiring diagram you see here we have one two three four five and it's go all the way to six then from the top here is going to be seven eight you see this number here is the how i know is number eight very simple you have to have wiring diagram mitchell aldara original wire diagram from land rover all these are working so stay with me i'm going to show you how we found that and what is the test please subscribe and share if you look here i have aldara software and you can subscribe on aldara they are good and they have a lot of uh, deal that you can get with it why because they have the factory software and they have aftermarket software also or wiring diagram you can also identify also is there mitchell on demand is there the factory wiring also are there the factory wiring is number one why because it give you for example the factory wire if you click here it will take you where the fuse is located exactly so this is a big fuse box this is a big fuse 80 amps that's coming to the cooling fan and this is a module that i just show you so the the red and the black are the what this ground continuously and power continuously now the engine computer where i told you here is the engine computer and the cooling the engine cooling temperature sensor the engine cooling temperature sensor sends signal to the engine computer and the engine computer based on this one it will send signal out don't forget also the air conditioning the air conditioning also will send signal also to request ac on also the transmission on some car if you, transmission temperature some of them in some car also they send signal so this purple wire from the connector you see here we have two connector connector 1e 109a and 1e 109b the b is the small one and the e is the big connector so if you go here next to the white and blue and white which is a data line you're going to see the next one is a purple this purple is coming from the pin number eight and it's go all the way to the pin number four on the modulator in the modulator so now we understand how does it work you need here i show you because any one of us all of you please if you work on cars get a wiring diagram it help you okay now i'm gonna go back to the car and see what happened so here is a car i believe this is a pin if this is number six if you see numbers there is numbers here you see these numbers this is number six so here is seven and eight this one here i'm gonna put a pin uh, i'm gonna put a pin here and i will give a, a like a and i will look for the resistor or the continuity now we are testing continuity and i prefer to test continuity by ground not don't put power because you put power maybe there you get some uh, you're gonna feed some other stuff and mess them up so what i'm gonna do is very simple i have this uh, test lead this one here i have it you can wind wind it up and i'm gonna take the black piece i will put it here okay because now we need to know that if this is a wire because i look at it i already and from here i will put this side here to the ground any place in the ground uh, on the car so i'm going to put it there or any place now I, I'm, I'm giving ground here now i supposed to get a ground here and i was supposed to get a ground here 
and we're going to follow this wire all the way down. We're supposed to get ground here. If we don't get ground here, we get ground here. That means from here, here is good. Then from here, we're going to look somewhere here, and then we're going to follow this wire where it's go. Okay. Stay with us. If you notice here, here is a place where I'm going to put my uh, pins. This one here. I will turn this one and I will put my pin in this place, number eight. This is this number eight. And I will come and test here. You see, I have ground here. And here, I have ground. That means continuity between here to here is good. Now, I'm going to come to my wire here. This is my wire. Nothing. You see? Nothing. So we know that from here to here, this is a right circuit, and we have a ground here. Now we're going to come back and look here. I already look at this wire somewhere here, I believe, because maybe this wire broke somewhere, I'm not sure. So I see the wire here. I took it out here before. This is the wire. And I want to be sure that it's not broke in this area here. So if it's here, if, if up here is good. Okay, let me see something. You see here? It's good. So that means we are from here to here. Wiring is good. So that it could be from here all the way down. Come out the way it's broke somewhere. Now, we don't need to have to change the computer first. Changing this computer, I, I'm going to keep this computer. Maybe one of you here around the world, somebody need it, let me know. But that's, the, that, that's the, the, the first step. We also, now, our job is to look for this wire from here all the way down. You can just jump away from here and bring it into this place but that will not help us. It will not help us uh, uh, do anything because if there is another wire or it cross with other wires, if we don't reach it and isolate it, we will be in trouble. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and share and like, and I will uh, add another video after we look for this wire and locate it exactly where. And then after that, we're going to work on how to fix this connector to be okay. And also, what are we going to learn? What, what is the value or what is the, uh, the, 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 the signal here? For example, let me disconnect this one here. Now I'm going to put the connector also back. And I want to show, now we know that there is, there is no signal there. I'm going to take this one out. When you put the piece inside there, Please try to get something very skinny, not big so that it have a size, so that you don't need to make the pin wider enough and then you create intermittent signal. Okay, I'm going to tape this one here, or I will try now to do another test. Okay. I'm going to start the car, put the AC, and see what signal we have. The car is running. I'm going to leave. This is uh, the, the air condition. I don't need nothing now. Let me see what I have. At least... They have to be something to talk. This is not the right tools to test, but let me put something here and see what I have. You see?
see there is some thing coming you see something coming okay for when we come here There's nothing. So we know for sure that we have a, a wiring issue here. So I'm gonna put everything back there, tape those electrical wire, tape it correctly, leave it there. And I'm gonna deal from here under there to see what's going on. Ferris, this is our research. Please subscribe, share and like, and be patient with us. And see you in another video. This is Muhammad Harun Idris.